Hello! Today we're going to learn how to take an A4 sheet of paper and turn it into a triangular based pyramid, otherwise known as a tetrahedron. So we start with the A4 sheet of paper and fold it in half along the length. Make sure the corners are nicely aligned and then we've got a line all the way down the middle. The next fold is really important. You're going to take this corner and make sure you've halved that corner. So the, this angle is going to be cut in half by the piece of paper that's on top of it. And this corner, the 90 degree, the right angle, is going to be on the line, on the fold that we've caught, created. So that is the... In, Make sure it's all in the right place before you fold it down, hold it firmly and flatten that edge. The next fold is simply, it's a really, really simple one. You're going to fold it along this line here. So this piece of paper is going to make a fold right under there. And your guide, once you've made the fold, you've got this angle. So this angle is going to be... Hmm, I wonder what the relationship between this angle and this angle is. Your guide is to fo uh, fold that piece of paper so that it follows that fold there. And then squish that one down. Now we have something rather beautiful. Except we've got this annoying little bit here. Well, this triangle has some quite interesting properties on its own, which we can look at if we want to. At the moment, we just want to get rid of it, so we fold it over and tuck it inside. Bye-bye, triangle. So, we now have another triangle. Now, what can we... What do you notice about this? Is there a, a relationship between the edges and the corners or the vertices of this triangle? Hmm. I wonder how we could find out more. Well, we have a nice little line here, which is we know it's halfway between the base and the apex of the triangle. We're going to just fold that down and see where it goes. Well, we do actually want to control it a bit. We want it to be right on the edge there and fold it down nice and tightly. Again, what is the relationship between this triangle, that triangle and that one? And what have we made? Well, we, we've made a boat. Ha <laughs> ha, a boat. <laughs> Right, so we're now going to fold, let's see if we can find out if this triangle is the same as this one. Fold it down. If you're doing this with children, just ask questions. Just ask lots of questions and let them do the discoveries. And if you are a child, just keep asking yourself questions. So we now have a flower, a little insect, or... A tetrahedron. So we need is a bit of tape. I do need a bit of tape, and I will get a bit of tape. Here we go. A bit of tape. It doesn't have to be. You can just do it loosely along one edge, or you can do it along the length. I'm going to leave it open just for a second because. There's some other things you can do with this. You can make this into a little box. You can put things inside. And later we're going to be making a really, really big one that you can actually get inside yourself. That'll require a little bit more filming. So we now have one triangular-based pyramid, tetrahedron, which just means a polyhedron with four faces. One, two three and four. Thank you very much.